Wow, it's a spursing with seasoned flavor. What's up? What's good? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chef Andre Henry and you're watching Chef Henry Kitchen. I'm gonna show you how to make Jamaican fried chicken. I'm gonna give you all the necessary steps that you need to know and how to make this delicious fried chicken. Hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new content, you don't miss a thing. Let's go outside. how to make this signified Jamaican fried chicken and look at the nice climate, the nice weather I'm going to show you how to season the chicken I am going to start out by cutting up my onion and I'm going to cut my onion in chunks because I'm going to use my magic bullet to blend up my green seasoning Now I finish cutting up my onion and scallion, I have a quarter cup of water into my magic bullet and this is what I'm going to use to blend up my scallion and onion. You can use your blender, it's fine. I'm going to start adding seasoning, I'm going to use a tablespoon measurement. One tablespoon of meat seasoning, follow up by a tablespoon of chicken seasoning, a tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning and one tablespoon of onion powder some dry thyme a tablespoon where you can use regular thyme and with my chicken season i already added pimento so you can use your allspice in your season mix now i'm gonna close my magic bullet and i'm gonna start my blending My blending is complete. I am going to open up the blender cup and I'm going to add two tablespoons of paprika. The paprika is going to give the chicken color and mix with the seasoning is going to enhance the flavor. I'm going to close the blender to get the paprika blend out with the rest of seasoning. I am using three pounds of chicken leg and thigh. I cut, clean and wash my chicken. And you should always wash and clean your chicken at all times. I am making authentic Jamaican fried chicken. I am going to pour on my freshly blended Caesar mix onto the chicken. I'm gonna massage the Caesar mix into the chicken. And I have my gloves on and the smell and the aroma from the season mix I know it's gonna soak and distribute it well in the chicken I finish massaging the seasoning mix into the chicken I'm gonna transfer the chicken into a ziplock bag you can use any plastic bag as long as you can close it and the reason for using a ziplock bag I want to add the chicken and the sauce and this is going to use to chop the aroma from the season mix so it can soak inside the chicken. I finish adding the chicken and the seasoned sauce into the ziplock bag. I'm going to close and I'm going to rack it and I'm going to let it marinate for two hours. I am going to add seasoning into the flour. I'm going to start off with half a tablespoon of paprika, half a tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning, half a tablespoon of chicken seasoning, half a tablespoon of meat seasoning, half a tablespoon of onion powder, now I'm going to mix the season into the flour to get it distribute even and I'm using a pound of flour and this is the flour I'm going to use to coat the chicken. Now I finish mixing the season throughout the flour, I'm going to start the fire. I 
And this is what I'm going to use on the base of the fire. So I'm just going to stack them. I'm going to use fire starter to ignite the flame. Now the fire is going, I'm going to show you a trick on how to use your inside pot on our outside fire. I'm going to add some vegetable oil on the outside of the pot. And when it's time to clean up, it's going to be easy to clean. I am going to add some vegetable oil, just enough to deep fry the chicken. The oil is hot and it's time to fry the chicken. I'm going to start by coating the chicken into the flour. And I'm going to get the chicken covered in flour. And I'm going to add more pieces. And it's going to be easy for when I'm adding them into the oil. I just want to dip them and shake them into the flour to get flour all over the chicken. Now I finished coating the chicken into the flour. I am going to add the chicken into the oil. I finished adding the chicken into the oil. I'm gonna let the chicken fry up for 20 minutes until it's golden brown. I'm gonna place the cover on. Now I'm going to check on the chicken and this is outside cooking. While the chicken is frying, I'm going to flour coat the rest of chicken so it can be easier for when I remove the chicken, I can just add it, the rest of chicken into the oil. Now I'm going to check on the chicken. Now 
Now the chicken is finished frying, I'm going to remove the first batch of chicken from the oil. I added some paper towel into my bowl and the paper towel is used to absorb the grease from the chicken. I'm going to add the final batch of chicken into the oil and let it fry for 20 minutes. And cooking outside, you smell that aroma. And I know everybody in the trailer park can smell the aroma. I'm going to place the cover on. The best thing about cooking outside on a wood fire, it enhances the flavor in the food. You all should try this recipe, a fried chicken outside. Now the final batch of chicken is finished frying. I am going to remove them from the oil. This is what I enjoy outside on a beautiful summer making fried chicken. I finish making fried chicken. This fried chicken recipe, it's a good recipe because it's done outside and it's seasoned well. Cooking outside is the best. It's nice to enjoy chicken outside. Wow, it's just bursting with seasoned flavor. I can't talk with my mouth full and I'm going to try a piece of plantain. The taste and everything, it's well made. You should go and make this recipe, follow the ingredients and go cook outside because it's a nice summer and the weather is nice to cook outside. And please blow this video up. And guys, I always say this, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.